guys welcome back to my channel today we are doing something a little different i want to do a style video for you guys just because i just got a ton of new clothing from princess polly that i was dying to play around with style a few different ways and i thought if i'm playing around i might as well play around in front of you guys so that's exactly what i did i put together a ton of outfits accessorized them talked about what i would do with them what i wouldn't do with them and it was so much fun so i'm really excited to share this with you guys um big thank you to princess polly for allowing me to style all of this clothing i also have a discount code for you for 20 percent off with code jill c so feel free to use that site-wide for 20 percent off and of course i'll have links to everything that i styled down below that way you can go and shop some of the things i styled if there's anything that you love so let's get into it don't forget to leave a comment with what your favorite outfit is in this video and let's do it okay guys this is the first thing that i'm styling this t-shirt is so cute it has a cute little graphic on it that says now you see me but see as in like the ocean um and as you can see it is a pretty oversized t-shirt believe it or not this is a size extra extra small so when you buy this shirt it's going to be oversized from there i would say probably size down and it'll still be oversized because i'm usually a smaller and extra small and this is an extra extra small on me um, as you can see the sleeves come down pretty low so I definitely recommend sizing down even for it to still be oversized and then if you want to you can like cut it if you want it to be more cropped or whatever you want but I'm keeping it like this so I can wear it as a t-shirt dress and I think one of the keys for styling t-shirt dresses starts with just rolling up the sleeves there's something about it that makes your outfit look a little bit more put together it almost gives slightly more shape to like otherwise just an oversized t-shirt which is a pretty shapeless thing so you can sort of see the difference there how this is like so long and sort of annoying and that's just a little bit cuter and then for shoes i'm just styling them with these cute little orange slides i think that they'll add a fun pop they're really comfy and just i don't know will add a slight little bit of color into the outfit which is really fun i also wanted to go with some slightly bigger bolder sunglasses i just think accessorizing a little bit bolder than i usually would really goes with a look like this and then the last thing that i want to add is actually this bag which is also from princess polly it's from naked vice it is so cute it has the cutest strap ever on it i am so obsessed with this strap <laughs> and so just styling with this i think that completes this overall look i just love it love the way the shoes look with it So this shirt is the next piece that I'm styling. I absolutely love this. So it's just a classic sort of front tie shirt, but what I did is I looped it once in the front and then brought it around to the back and just tied it back there in a little knot. It's really easy to conceal. As you can see, I left mine out, or you can just pop it underneath your shirt just like that. Very easy to hide. It's just so cute and comfortable. You can obviously just tie it as a normal front tie shirt as well. And I paired it with this midi skirt. And I just think it adds a nice little pop of something since it is just a plain white shirt. And I love this midi skirt. And I'm just gonna pair it with these brown sandals, which I've been loving. I've been living in, in these all year. The brown obviously just complements the skirt, keeps it really simple. And again, I think accessories are really crucial to something like this outfit. So I think I wanna put a clip in my hair. So I'm just gonna pull this side back and put a cute little clip in just like that. And then I definitely want some jewelry just because this is such a deep V. So you want something that will sort of complement that. So I'm going with this guy nice and long and this would be our completed look i think it's super cute i love this shirt so much i think this is such a cute way to tie a front tying shirt and overall i think this outfit's just really cute i've been talking for like three seconds i'm ready perch i am so obsessed with this next thing that i'm showing you guys it is so cute it is this amazing romper and yes ooh, my plant <laughs> yes this is a romper even though it totally looks like a cute little frilly dress it ties in the waist area here i just have it in a little bow in the back i just think that this is so unbelievably cute for like a cute little 
date night. I think it'd be great to wear to a wedding, birthday party, like anything that you get to dress up just a little bit. I think that this is the perfect thing. I am so obsessed with it. Like, look at these sleeves. Oh, it's just so cute. Um, so again, we want to accessorize, but this is a little bit more extravagant than I suppose the other things were that we've been wearing. So we're going to keep it a little bit more simple. I'm going to go with those same brown sandals that I wore last time, just because this has little hints of brown in it. So I think it'll complement it perfectly. Keeping it neutral with this outfit, I think is the key. Since it has the hints of brown, I think gold accessories are the way to go on this. Um, I wear gold accessories most of the time anyway, but um, I was considering a little silver necklace for this and then thought, no, I think it's about the gold for this. So there you go. Cute little layering necklace. Again, we have that deep V, so you sort of want to fill in that space there. I also wanted to wear my favorite hoop earrings. These are also a really pretty gold. And that just adds the nice small touch that I think an outfit like this can use. Okay, there you have it, some earrings. And to finish off the look, we can go with just some nice plain sunglasses. And you're ready for a fun night out, a fun date night, a birthday party. I just think that this dress is so versatile. It's very daytime and can definitely transition to nighttime. And it's just so cute and frilly and fun. I absolutely feel amazing when I wear it. I love it so much. Yay. <laughs>all right the next thing i'm styling is this midi skirt um let me see if i can give you a better view of this i'm going to stand on this thing just for the sake of showing you the skirt a little bit better um as you can see it has a really gorgeous slit here which just gives your body a nice shape with the midi skirt i do find that having a slit in a midi skirt like that makes all the difference when you're shorter and you want to wear a midi skirt just because sometimes it can look awkward if you don't have it so love that this has this it's silky soft i'm obsessed with the print on it. I just think it's so gorgeous. And I paired it with a simple bandeau top. You don't need anything crazy or special here or anything like that. I just think that this is super amazing. And one of the things I actually love about this outfit is the simplicity. So I did want to keep with that. So I'm just pairing it with these really simple black mules. They're really comfortable. They help just keep the outfit very monochromatic, which I'm really digging. And then accessory wise with this, again, I wanted to keep it simple. So I'm just wearing the same necklace that I wear every single day, not adding any special accessories. I'm putting on this cuff bracelet that I love. It says strength and guidance on it, which is a little sort of inside joke with me and my friends. I would probably throw on just a black bag, like my Naked Vice one that I showed you earlier. Very simple, classic, and just really pretty, I think. Next is this incredible dress. How freaking gorgeous is this little number? I am so obsessed with it. It has an adorable slit here, which I'm just so obsessed with, especially because it is slightly on the longer side. Obviously, it's still a short dress, but like past my finger fingertips or like at my fingertips. So I always think that that is like a great length to have a little slit in. I am obsessed with this color. It is so freaking comfortable to wear. I just think it is so cute. So this would obviously be for something a little dressier. So I picked slightly dressier shoes. I'm going with these guys. They have that really cute square heel that everyone is obsessed with right now. They're strappy. The white complements the white flowers in the dress. And I just think it is the perfect addition to this outfit. So cute with them, I love it. And um, since we are working with a little bit of a higher neckline, I just wanted to add a choker. So there you go, little diamond choker there. And then for my hair, I wanna add this really cute little barrette. Here we go, again, the white complements the little white flowers. And since it's just cute little pearls, I just think it adds a little something extra to the look there. And there you have it. You'd be ready to go out. Again, great for a date night. I wore this into New York with my dad when we were going to see a Broadway show. So it's great for something like that. And I do think there are ways of styling this down with like a pair of docks or sneakers, maybe a t-shirt underneath it. So super versatile. I feel like the sun went away while I was getting changed and it got like 10 times darker in here. Don't love that. <laughs> but here we are with our next outfit. So I got this shirt from Princess Polly. I think it is so 
freaking cute. It's blue and it has this really nice sort of stripe detail that goes through it. And there are so many different ways to style this, but I wanted to show you this this way, just tucked into a little black mini skirt. And I just left sort of some of these buttons open so that I could sort of like peel this back, and fold it open a little bit just to give it a little bit more of a feminine shape. And then again, since we have this deep V going, I wanna add something to it. So we are going with an oldie but a goodie necklace. I haven't worn this necklace in so long, but it just felt like the perfect choice. And then I'm just going to take like all of these extra danglers and sort of tuck them inside there. That way it just gets revealed a little bit there. Again, you're just filling in some of that empty space there. And for shoes, I'm pulling out these black flats again. I just think that they complement the outfit. The whole point of this outfit is to have the blue really stand out, which is why I have it paired with so many black things here. So this would be our completed look. We have a gorgeous all white lounge summer fun outfit going here. <laughs> So this outfit all came from this really cute Princess Polly shirt that I got. This is actually the same one as the blue one, um, but in white, obviously. And for this, I wanted to show you how you could sort of style it more as a jacket type of deal, which is obviously what I did. <laughs> um, so I just have on these white linen shorts here with this really cute white crop top. And then I have this right on top. So cute, obsessed. Of course, have to stick with some white sneakers. These are just perfect for doing sort of the whitewash all the way through the outfit. You cannot go wrong with a little bit of a white hair accessory. So I'm just gonna pull my hair half up like this. Throw this guy in there. So cute, a little pop of white there. For accessories, I'm gonna bring back this little gold necklace that I wore earlier. Looks like this has two little chains on it, but I'm just gonna pop that right inside of my shirt so it just sort of all falls in there. And there you have it. This is one of my favorite outfits in the whole video. I just think it's so cute and so stylish. I guess you're technically not supposed to wear white after Labor Day, but no one follows those rules anymore, right? <laughs> Okay, these little accessories I'm so excited to style for you guys. I have such a specific idea of what I wanna do with these, so we're gonna give it a try today. So if you can't tell, these are little butterfly clips, total throwback to my childhood, and sort of what I'm thinking for these is that you could do like some sort of cute little design or something. I'd have to get like a little middle part going here. Looking my best, as always. And I think the idea would be to like grab some of this go right along the top here and give it a little twist and then put a clip in. Just like that. Do it again over here. And then you just add one more layer of them a little bit further back like that. We got like a cute little 90s hairstyle going here. And there you have it. I feel like it gives you such a fun little detail on your head there that's still pretty subtle and cute. I really dig it. And I think that looks really cute with this t-shirt dress that I styled a little bit earlier. And the very last thing I wanna show you in this video is this really cute romper. Unfortunately, I should've got a size down on this. It's really big on me, um, just like swims on me. I sort of fall out of it, um, but I do love it. I think it's so cute. It comes with this adorable belt here, it has that really deep V that as you can see I'm into since that was in like so many of our outfits today. And just overall is a really cute look. It would look so cute with those brown sandals that I've been styling things with. It's a really nice material, so I'm still going to have this link down below for you guys to check out. I just couldn't really style it in this video because it didn't fit me correctly. There you have it. Those are all my styled outfits. Hope you guys enjoyed this. If you would like to see more videos like this, let me know. I know it was something a little different than my usual vlogs, but I thought it was fun. Another thank you to Princess Polly. Another shout out to my code, Jill C. 20% off site-wide. You can't beat it. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.